Uh, we just need a one word suggestion from the audience to get started. Alamo. Alamo? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's wrong with the Alamo? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, we, we truly uh, do remember the album. Uh, we're all here for it. And uh, guys, I think when the lights come out, now. Oh, wow. We always take the same band trip to San Antonio, and it's just as boring. <laughs> yeah, we go and we do our concert, and then we go to Fiesta, Texas, and then we go to the Alamo. Every year. I don't suck on that wooden reed to play my clarinet so that I can see the Alamo four times in high school. Four times. Okay. I had a certain opinion about fans. And I thought that they were going to be super cool fan trips where we experimented with drugs and alcohol and each other's bodies. And instead, yes. I get just the Riverwalk. <laughs> just the Alamo, year after year. And it's always in April when it's in armpit outside. Oh, <laughs> you know what they won't let us do? Go to Ripley's, believe it or not. <laughs> See where pearl beer is made. <laughs> Guys, I'm from the uh, I'm from the public school over in Scarborough. Now let me tell you, all right. We did go to Ripley's, believe it or not. We did drop motherfucking acid, and we did go to the brewery. Well, you played the French horn, huh? Uh, I played the trombone. Yeah. Well, guys, I got a really, I got a really dope day ahead of me, guys. Oh. Yeah. Okay. It was uh, it was real. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all yeah, enjoy the Alamo. It's gonna be super fun. Who's your favorite wax figure? Um, you know what? I think Dua Lipa. He did ask him sort of that Dua Lipa. We at least need some weed. Are you guys? Are you guys? Are you guys from that, like, other high school in Houston? Yeah, the cool one. Oh my god. We well, heard about cool you guys. More. I'm from the middle school here, actually. Wait, what the fuck? The middle school? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, we heard about you guys. I, like, I all happily train you. Do you need to learn how to drop acid, or? Like, no, we're older and cooler than you. I mean, yeah. I mean, there's a really great corner behind the Ripley's. You've been there, right? You've totally been yeah, there, Yeah, we've right? been to Ripley's. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> It is so cool. We should totally hang out. Let's go out, out, out right back. Yeah, we're old enough to drive, so I mean, we could go and meet you whenever we wanted, if we wanted to. Yeah, I know. <laughs> right, I'll see you later. You want some? Shit. <laughs> like, you get it, alright? 
Yeah, well, I mean, if you really, if you don't want to miss your session today, I have a little bit of experience in therapy if you want to, oh I don't know gosh. if you want to be willing to, yes. yeah. Yes, right now. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. All right, so I'm having, like, relationship problems. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, with my boyfriend. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, um, I mean, you're not being my boyfriend right now. Right, okay, yeah, take that, take, take, take right, your boyfriend yeah, hat off, put on the therapist hat off. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So I think what you need to do to better support your boyfriend. Yeah, I think I'm both my therapist actually. Oh, like as in this therapist right here, like the this. No, no, you're you're the other therapist, but I, I think I'm in love with like the therapist that I've been seeing. Oh, the main therapy. Yeah, yeah I think maybe he should be my boyfriend. Oh, um, well, um, as your therapist that you're currently speaking to right now, um, I think that's a fuck ass decision. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that you're thinking very selfishly, and I think that, uh, you know, uh, this, uh, your boyfriend, from what you told me, from what I know about this guy, uh, is just a kind of a stand-up guy that sounds like an overall positive, like, really nice guy. Hey, babe. Do you like my, uh, raccoon hat I got? It's a... <laughs> <laughs>
NASA and the Spaceship <laughs> Challenger? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one well, that exploded and killed yes. all those people live on television? He told you about that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah. He told me that, um, you know, he couldn't sleep at night because he was the one that, uh, you know, gave him the okay. Yeah. How's that affect you? Um, well, he just went into such detail that I kind of, um, you know, uh, kind of took on the burden of survivor's guilt. Um, but it's okay. We 12 out here, and, uh, we just and, and we live in... Yeah, it's... Yeah, you know. He didn't let everybody in. He just... He let the real ones in, you know? <laughs> you look tired. Yeah, yeah, I'm really tired. I mean, I just feel like... When he passed, a, a big part of my soul just went away. I don't know, I've always been told I'm an old soul. And uh, I didn't even realize about his really ongoing chronic pain that he's been living with every single day. Did he talk about that? He told me all about that, and I think I maybe heard a little bit of that. Yeah. Yeah, I hear your joints cracking. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's tough, but uh, we 12 out here. We're 12 out here. Rest in peace, Poopsie. Um, I know you love me. Uh, I can't speak for uh, my half-brother. Um, and, uh, yeah. Poopsie, wherever you are, probably in heaven. Yeah, he's in heaven. <laughs> I'm kind of glad that you spared me the horrific second-hand PTSD that you gave to my brother. <laughs> oh, yeah. Poopsie. Oh, yeah. You are a real one, and we 12 out here. We 12 out here. And I hope that you have a beautiful afterlife, and that I hope that you have a beautiful rest of your life now that you're not going to be burdened by the emotional trauma dumping of our war ridden Grandpa. Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Grandpa, you said you were going to tell us some stories. And I know I know you've been really, really tired. Telling us there's there's like a lot of like generational stuff that we need to like be burdened with. Yeah, yeah, no. Um, I've been cooking. We okay. cook it. Um, right. I got a lot of generation. Um, uh, COVID nineteen. That was crazy. What? Um, yeah. What uh, happened? Uh, well, um, just you know, fuckers be fuckers. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> People don't know your shit. <laughs> Hell yes! I didn't even want to get on this thing and you convinced me. 
And now I'm stuck up here. So are you glad you tried it? I am not glad <laughs> I tried it. <laughs> That's how you grow. Get out of your comfort zone. We're all just trying to learn and make our way through this thing called life. We're all just learning lessons. <laughs>
Good riddance to that, right? Yeah. Do you think it was sexual tension? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think yeah. it's that like one of us has a really attractive body? <laughs> but they also just stay locked in their room and they don't come out shirtless as much as the other one would like. <laughs> I think that's part of the problem. And then maybe one of us kept trying to set us up with people at school so that they could overhear the sounds of the other's love making, but <laughs> that was so hard. I took his degree too seriously, and so. <laughs> Graduated one semester later. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think it was maybe that? It wasn't. I don't know, I got that robe and it was really loose and it would just fall open. Yeah, it was basically always just open. <laughs> I don't know why. That was one of the things that didn't work, huh? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Cheers. Do you feel sexually tense? I feel tense? Yeah, me too. <laughs> Oh, we have guests. Great, hey, come on in. Oh, hey. Congratulations! 